Greetings everyone. In today's video, we will quickly learn how you can use MU plugins to add your custom codes. Let's get started. For more WordPress content, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Now in this video, we will create an MU plugins and add our codes instead of using functions.php. The benefit is MU plugins cannot be deleted from the dashboard are not easily visible, and when there are any updates, the custom codes on MU plugins will not be deleted. Anyway, for that, we need to log into our WordPress. We are already logged into our WordPress dashboard. For this video, we want to use this code. It basically adds another box on the login page. Normally, we would add this code to theme functions, but now, we will add this to our MU plugins. Unlike the normal plugins, MU plugins cannot be installed, activated, or deleted using the WordPress dashboard. We will need to access the root directory. You can do it using the cPanel, FTP, or a plugin. We will use a file manager plugin. Let me quickly install it. Please note, you do not need to install this plugin if you plan to use FTP or cPanel. Let me activate the plugin. Go to File Manager. So here are all our website files. It is almost the same as using FTP or cPanel. Anyway, go to WP-Content. We need to create a folder here to use MU plugins. Rename the folder to mu-plugins. Make sure the name is exactly the same and press enter. Open the folder. Now we can add our own codes here. Let me create a PHP file. Give any name you want. Let me add our custom codes here. Right click and go to code editor. Before adding your code, simply write the angle bracket, question mark, and PHP. Make sure you write this. You can also write other details as creating a plugin. Anyway, now let's add our custom codes here. So this code should add another box to the login page. Save it. So it's done. To see if the MU plugin is on our site or not, go to plugins and click on must use. You should see the PHP file here. This cannot be deleted or edited using the WordPress dashboard. You must access the root directory to edit or delete it. Let me check if our code is working or not. I will open the page in incognito mode. So the code has been implemented as you can see in this new box here. One thing we need to be very careful about is while adding the code to MU plugins using File Manager. If there is any mistake, the site will not be accessible. This will give a critical error. For instance, let me add random brackets here. Now let me refresh the site. So we have a critical error here. The site is not accessible now. The only way to access the site is using the FTP or cPanel, as nothing will work. Let me quickly log in to the cPanel. Quickly go to File Manager. Public underscore HTML. So here are all our website files. Go to wp-content, MU plugins folder. So here is the file we created earlier. Let me open this file. So I will rectify the error also indicated here. Save changes. And now the website should work all code Anyway, so if you are using the File Manager plugin, make sure to use the codes correctly or else your site will not be accessible. 
and the only option is using the cPanel or FTP. Anyway, we hope this video was useful. Thank you very much.